Hello everyone and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Yeah. My name is Jamie, I'm your host. This is our angel-haired hipster Curtis and our happy Honduran and Eddie. Uh, today we have a, uh, a gift from uh, fans, fans of the show actually brought us a bottle. All right, let's see it. Well, wait, 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 wait. Tell them more about the fans. Yeah, what what about this fan? What's, okay, well. Um, we can use their first name. Yeah, sure. My friends uh, Trace and his wife Mandy. Um, are high school friends of mine, and they have family friends that work at the Templeton Rye Distillery, Boom. and uh, family friends, friends of their family. Okay, so, so we got a little hookup here. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. We're making networks. Sure. So, okay, so this is the Temple, uh, Templeton Rye, age six years, the good stuff, rye whiskey, 45%. Okay. <laughs> And this is made here locally, uh, not locally, but in the state of Iowa. Mm -hmm. um, it's been around for quite a while, I think, right? Uh, 10, 12 years. Okay. Over the course of his, his uh, storied history, history, Templeton Rye became Al Capone's whiskey of choice, quickly finding its way to the center of bootlegging empire. Legend suggests that a few bottles even find their way to the walls of Alcatraz to the cell of prisoner AZ-85. Mm. Ooh. Google that guy. See Google I mean, that guy. He might have historical. Okay, snippet. here's more on what what um, uh, what um, Jamie was talking about. When prohibition outlawed in the manufacture and sale of alcohol beverages in the 1920s, in 1920, many enterprising residents of a small town in Iowa chose to become Outlaws, mm. producing a high caliber and much sought out after whiskey known as Templeton Rye or the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> to those in the know, Alphonse Kirkhoff was one of those Templeton outlaws. So we got some outlaws here, states. That's right. So uh, let's open this up. And uh, as many of you know, we like rye. Rye is something we were not crazy about. We're now rye guys. We're now rye boys. Guys. Oh, rye, no, rye men. Rye guys. <laughs> <laughs> rye men? <laughs> we're trying to rhyme in. Rye. We like the rye. We're rye men. Rye guys. So this is from uh, Trace and Mandy, my old high school friends. I appreciate the... Mm. Oh, I like it. This is definitely a rye. <laughs> I might have just spiked out the mics, but... <laughs> you know, this is definitely a rye. I mean, did you expect him to say anything else? No. <laughs> he could have said it's got that excellent bourbon taste. <laughs> Who knows this guy, man? What's your opinions? I like it a lot. I think the rye uh, flavor kind of lingers for a while. And uh, it doesn't have a, a crazy explosion, but it's just kind of... It's smooth, but it's it's strong body, and it just kind of lingers, lingers, and lingers. And it does not have a, a a dry finish, but it's okay. It's a drier finish, but it still lingers. I would say, but I love it. I think it's fantastic. Let's get an honest opinion from you. Yeah. Say I something. don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. It it's, seems, it, it's very, very complex. -y. It seems better than I remember because last time I had Templeton Rye, I didn't think much of it. Mm. I think that they make this is the six year, and I know that uh, they have a four year. Okay. And then they might have just have a base one too. Yeah. This is a not quite their highest though, because now I think they have a ten year. Is that wow. true? Yeah. Yeah. If you would stand up mm -hmm. and turn around between the High West and the Remus Repeal Reserve. You'll see a box. Would you hand me that box? No, the other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Oh, this box. one. That box. Yes. You're doing that on purpose, ain't you? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> this is the ten year. Oh. oh, we're doing a big ten. Uh, what does it say? What proof is that? What proof is this? This is fifty. 0.5%, oh, 101 proof. 91 and I think it's proof. hilarious that a prohibition was in 1920. So by the time it was over, that came out. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, guys. Oh, we got a 10 year now. Mm. Oh, the, the scent is different. Mm -hmm. I remember when it first came out, there was the, the uh, 
first run, second run, and small batch. And they were exceptional. Then for some reason, I, I don't know what happened, it changed. Its characteristic changed. Mm. And um, this is closer to the original that I, that I remember. Okay. Th this would be the, the ten year. Um, but I don't nece know necessarily if it is actually something that they kept for 10 years in barrels because um, they have been purchasing from uh, uh, a distillery in Indiana. Yeah. They're finally going into production themselves. Right. And I'm looking forward in four or five years to, to what they're coming out with. And that was a controversy here in Iowa that somebody else was making the alcohol and it was finished here in Iowa. Well, actually, I think it was actually finished in Indiana. Also, I I, I don't know that for under sure. Under that recipe. Under that recipe, yeah. Wow. So, um, but uh, like I said, first batch, second batch, small batch, were just amazing rye whiskeys. Mm. And mm. then and then there's something it changed. I don't know if it was just they were more concerned about the marketing and the Al Capone connection, but it just wasn't the same whiskey. But this is getting this is good. I mean, the yeah. six year is not bad at all. Well, I thought yeah. so too. Yeah. And you know, I don't know if I want to say the 10 is better than the 6. I, I definitely see the notes of like it has a drier finish and um, it, it, it's kind of still lingers, but it's just different. You know, it's more refined. But the 6 has, offers something that's a little more explosive in there. And um, no, I think you're wrong. I think okay. the 10 is much more explosive, much more intense, has a much smoother finish. Mm hmm. I, I like the 10 a lot better than I like the 6. I like the 6 a lot better than I li like the 4. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if I was going to buy a bottle of Templeton right now, I would probably buy the 6. And it's not, it's not I don't foresee this 6 becoming like this 10 for some reason. But the 10, I really like. And once the 6, the, I really like. Once the 6 is in the bottle, characteristics aren't going to change. No, I'm saying no, like... You're right. No, no, but what I'm saying like... Right now, there's a six-year-old bottle that someday is going to become a ten-year-old, a ten-year, sixty-year-old barrel. It's going to become a ten-year-old barrel. I think is that true? I don't know. I that really don't understand true. what they're doing. I, I really don't know what they're doing over there. I know that they started production. I know that they are putting up barrels. Yeah. But I really don't know what they're doing with that yet. Okay. I mean, I think all of this is still come from. Uh, uh, a large distillery in Indiana and I think they go and they choose the barrels that they want um, perhaps they ask them to make it in a recipe that they want mm -hmm. I don't know that for sure uh, so I mean at, at this point I really don't know uh, produced and bottled by Templeton Rice Spirits um, Templeton Iowa distilled in Indiana same right thing this says the same thing does it yeah yeah okay Templeton Rice Spirits uh, uh, Templeton Iowa distilled in Indiana like I said I hope they start distilling in Iowa. Yeah. And I hope they start putting the barrels up in Iowa. Yeah. And then we'll see. Right in. So it. what we're finding out is with the six year, this is an exceptional whiskey. It's an exceptional rye. Um, there are subtle characteristics that are a little more intense, a little more um, just different variances in the characteristics we're finding. Right. I I, I really like and the six. Kind of, I mean, the six is a lot better than than the other temple since that I've had with right. Mm-hmm. You know. I don't think it's a science. I think it's an art. Okay. Right. I mean, there are, there is a science to it, absolutely. Yeah. Because right. otherwise, we wouldn't have certain whiskeys that are taste the same all the time. Right. And you know what? We don't know the secrets. We don't know if maybe they char the, the barrels slightly longer when they know that the uh, it's going to sit for ten years instead of five. You know, we, we, we do. don't we don't know we don't know if they use if they uh you know we don't know the slight differences that they say they, they they project hey we know that the recipe works better when you do this for a 10 year instead of a 20. like there has to right. be something that they formulate in that's the past a, that's something we may have to tackle on a later yeah. date one yeah. thing that we do know the differences between this and this is that this one was free <laughs> trace and mandy my yeah. old high school friends free thanks a lot for all of that and that one was 120 bucks. That's 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 probably the most difference in all of them. Yeah. And, and with that, Burn, what's yeah. uh, let's go. all for one and one, one for, for all. all. <laughs> I forgot it again. One for all <laughs> the <laughs> right men. <laughs> forgot the line again. That's all right. I wanted to say this bottle's 2768 of 6080. Mm. I don't know how much that would have contributed to the show. Okay.